weather. Here's Chris Ramirez. Welcome back, everyone. So I noticed it was looking pretty cloudy earlier, and I think that's because we're going to be seeing rain, right, Chris? Yes, so we have this tropical disturbance that's in the Gulf that's going to be bringing all this tropical moisture to the Concho Valley, so it's going to increase our rain chances for the next couple of days, and that's lasting till Wednesday. But right now, looking out in the Gulf, you're definitely seeing that disturbance off in the Gulf right now over the Yucatan in the Central Gulf, and you're seeing all of this moisture beginning to come into the picture. Definitely saw that first wave of tropical moisture made its way to southeast Texas, dealing with some thunderstorms as we get into these overnight hours and as we get into the next couple of days the possibility for these to bring some rain and thunderstorms for us here in the Concho Valley is definitely certain as we head into the next into the start of the work week but right now looking at our at our tower cam we did start off with mainly sunny skies we did see that cloud cover start to increase here as we headed into those afternoon hours and then we saw the rain and all those thunderstorms making its way through San Angelo and to the west of us so you're definitely able to see that in the cactus cam and we, as we get into these tonight into tomorrow morning we definitely are clearing on out and our chances of rain are going to diminish as we get into tomorrow morning but what you can expect for the next week we're going to have rain chances lasting till Wednesday and this is due to that tropical moisture that's going to possibly make its way to the Concho Valley higher rain chances are going to be to the east of us so Brady Menard you're going to see more of a rain chance as we get into tomorrow and into Tuesday and so but the good news here is it's not going to be as hot as we were seeing for the past couple of weeks here with temps in the hundreds and 105 so we're going to be dealing with temperatures in the 90s and upper 80s and then after that, all that clears out we are going to have a sunny end of the week and that's going to bring our temperatures right back up into the upper 90s getting right back up until it's really hot conditions but right now sitting at 86 degrees that humidity is making it feel a little bit more warm at the moment it feels like 88 humidity is at 49 percent winds moving east southeast at 10 miles an hour and across the concho valley we are seeing temps in the upper 80s to upper 70s uh here 79 in grape creek 78 in Mer in, sitting at 70, 85 in Fort McCavitt, so we are going to start cooling off as we head into the overnight hours. But right now, we are seeing uh, some of those showers sticking around in Sterling County at the moment, but over the last three hours, we did see those thunderstorms make its way from the south to the north, passing San Angelo, and a couple of those thunderstorms did make their way through downtown. Of course, here at the station, we definitely heard that rain about a few minutes ago, but wind speeds right now are fairly calm at the moment. 10 miles an hour here in San Angelo, sitting at 6 miles an hour in Mertzen, and so we can expect these wind conditions to be fairly calm as we get into tomorrow morning. Our future cast is showing uh, the possibility for some showers to come into the picture as we get into some Monday. As uh, getting into Monday night, into Monday afternoon, we are going to have the possibility for those showers to come into the picture as we get with more gusty winds for Monday. But the main concern here is when we get into Tuesday afternoon, fast forward here, we are seeing the potential for some showers and thunderstorms to come into the Concho Valley as we get into Tuesday afternoon. Recurrent satellite and radar is definitely seeing these high pressure systems. That disturbance is off to our west. That's what fueled those storms today. That's nothing to do with the tropical moisture, but the upper level disturbance that's sitting off to our west is what fueled those storms as we got into the next couple of uh, these next few hours here. Water vapor imagery is showing that tropical moisture making its way into the Concho Valley. Travel forecast is showing all of that rain coming into southeast Texas with it possibly reaching the Concho Valley as we get into Wednesday, into Wednesday morning. As we go into the next uh, several days, we will start seeing the potential for some rain. Tonight, we're getting up to 70, down to 72, mostly cloudy with some calm winds, and tomorrow we'll be right back up to 92 degrees with the possibility of a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms with 30% chance of rain with winds moving out of the east at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Our seven-day forecast is saying for... The next couple of days, we are going to have the possibility for some scattered thunderstorms and rain lasting until Wednesday, getting a 30% chance for Monday and Tuesday, 20% chance for Wednesday, and then we're going to be warming right back up into those very hot temperatures towards the end of the week with mostly sunny skies. We'll be right back.